Thank you, Direct. Hi, I'm Tony Velasquez. On this program, you and I will explore the innovations and advances that technology can contribute to improving the Filipino way of life. We'll upload information and ideas on the hardware and the software that will make you aware of new directions that can lead to better ways of doing things. There's no time like the present to think about a future perfect. Recent tragic events have put the broadcast news media under a critical microscope, focusing on the way it handles live coverage of sensitive issues. Well, we won't go into the ethics and protocols here. That's for another ANC show, which I sometimes host. This time on Future Perfect, we'll present to you the technology that enables ABS-CBN and ANC to bring you informative newscasts each and every day. And since this is TV news, we rely heavily on our cameras whose technology has evolved and improved through the years. In an industry ruled by how fast and how well information is delivered, the quest for the perfect broadcast camera is top priority. The fastest turnover of models usually happen within the news department. It's fast because especially broadcast ang ABS, we start with the pneumatic tape that we use Nakahiwala yung video, yung camera, to recording media na we're using VCR. Tapos gumamit tayo ng Betacam, na gumagamit yung YouTube type na Betacam. Umatic is a video cassette format first introduced in 1971. It was among the first video formats to contain the videotape inside a cassette, as opposed to the various open reel formats of the time. The recorders were connected to the camera using a cable. Sony's tube-type Betacams were among the first broadcast quality one-piece camcorders. The advancement was achieved at a considerable sacrifice to the cameraman, who was saddled with a bulky, complicated, and more delicate system. Going live also required the attachment of fat cables. But with the news not always happening in the most accessible of places, eventually it was time to go wireless. We don't have to go to other countries. Locally, here in the sa Pilipinas kasi uh, eh, may mga mangilan-ngilan stasyon na sumasabay pero hindi pa rin compared to ABS na lagi tayong nauna sa technology uh, may ilang station na um, pinipilit nila na sumabay sa technology pero naiiwan pa rin ABS-CBN even tried technology that had limited success in the news environment yung manpack kasi natin ng una is directional eh. you were using a small microwave at yung microwave na yun, itututok mo kung nasan yung camera mo o nasan yung transmitter mo. So kung yung, yung lahat ng manpack natin nung una, masyadong napakahirap gamitin kasi para kang astronaut. Kasi uh, meron ka pang isang tao na maghahawak ng manpack o ng microwave kasi itututok yun o hahabulin yun nung receiver. So yung may manlock yun, tayong microwave, pareho silang naka-microwave. Kaya microwave kasi line of sight. So kung walang line of sight, nawawala yan. So paano kung may black yan, kung meron yung bato, o pumasok ko sa ilalim, yun. Ito hindi eh, kahit na may mga, obs may mga obstruction na pader, pumapasok siya. After shedding the wires, going tapeless was the next logical step. Sa so, Betacam kasi, isi-save mo yung material mo in real time. Compare dun sa, sa, sa ngayon, na pag shoot mo siya using yung bago nating sistema, Uh, mabilis mo lang siyang transfer yung data. So pag nirecord mo siya, pwede mo siyang drag and drop sa computer and pwede ka na mag-edit anytime. Hindi ka tulad ng Betacam. Beta, when you, you're using mini DV or Betacam using tape, basta gumamit ka ng tape, real-time mo siyang igagrab or real-time mo siyang i-record. From the early days of the Sony XD cams, the digital news gathering team now boasts of Ikagami units which are not only capable of capturing images in high def, but also have built-in wireless audio. 
Dati no una di ba, hi-fi lang yung audio nila eh. O stereo. Kasi yung 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 VHS kasi gumagamit siya ng hi-fi o stereo, stereotype ng audio. Yung ikigamit na we're using four channels of audio. Ah, panta channels yan. So kung gusto mo mag-edit ka, nalalagay mo ng ambiance, lalagay mo ng music. Pwede yan sabay-sabay mong ilagay na hindi sa dadalawang channel. A new wireless transmission system is also being rolled out. The wireless transmission nakita ko yung nung yun, itong recently nung Venus coverage sa, sa airport mukhang maayos siya kahit kasi yung transmitter natin is nasa nasa baba covering yung Miss Universe and yung receiver natin is nasa taas ayos naman even with obstacles it can also cover a radius of one kilometer this means news teams can go even farther to bring you the biggest stories as they happen Well, ever wonder how ANC is able to deliver up-to-the-minute news from most points in the country? Here's a peek at one of our special tools of the trade. Time was when you wanted news delivered, you relied on your friendly neighborhood newsboy to hurl you your paper early in the morning. But this no longer cuts it for today's generation. If it takes 24 hours to reach you, it's old news. If you want news fast, this van will get it to you as the news unfolds. This is one of ABS-CBN's fleet of electronic news gathering or ENG vans. Sa news kasi, ang ENG van is kailangan pag nag-deploy ang news, uh, mabilis ka. Um, pag sinabi ng desk na punta kayo sa Malacanang, kailangan in 5 minutes, mobile na kami noon. During natural disasters like Ondoy, or historic events like the funeral of President Cory Aquino, or the Manila hostage taking, ABS-CBN relies on vans like these to deliver fresh news from where it happens. The ENG van is a mobile TV news studio. Mobile studio, nandudun na, na nandudun na lahat. Nandudun na editing, nandito na rin yung lighting. The ENG van can send live footage. It's also equipped with editing machines for cutting and packaging news stories. Using a powerful microwave transmitter, the ENG van can transmit from around 200 kilometers away from the TV station. It can also send both analog and digital signals. HD ready rin siya, so pag nag-integrate ka tayo ng HD, may pwede na rin siyang i- the van, however, has also some limitations. It needs line of sight access to its station. Hindi namin kakayanin, pinakamalapit na pwede namin puntahan kung saan nilalagay yung van setup. Pero usually, halos lahat buong Metro Manila, may signal tayo. So whether it's a mutiny, a typhoon, or the launch of John Lloyd and Zaya's latest film, you can be sure you'll get the latest news. Oh, I have missed him. Crazy. Like crazy, crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.